Okay, so a lot of you have wanted to know how I've created some of these boxes. And I'm working on one now, and I thought I'd kind of take you through the process. This is kind of an experiment for me. But uh, some of the stuff that I use consistently on my boxes, uh, these are cigar boxes. As you can see, pretty, pretty simple cigar box there. All right, and for this particular one, I wanted to use a little Sculpey. So I used Sculpey, and I created the nose and mouth piece first. Uh, I then did the fingertips here, as you can see. Uh, these eyes are glass beads. They are, uh, you can buy those at Michael's or any hobby store. They're just little glass beads, you can kind of see in here. And I just painted the back of them and made the eyes. And uh, then I went ahead and used this tissue mache, as you can see, it's all over here. It was just layering tissue and kind of using it, the white glue along with the, the tissue wrap and just kind of crunching it up, getting some wrinkles in it. And then once you start applying it with the glue, it becomes very uh, soft and you can blend and everything with it. So I've gotten this far. I've gotten the first layer of tissue down. I gave him a little brow and some, some detail under the eyes. It's still drying, as you can see. Uh, now I have used regular tacky glue to uh, glue on the fingertips for now uh, so I want to strengthen them up so what my next step is going to be will be some hot glue I'm gonna take some hot glue and start detailing out some of these parts and adding some more uh, detail to just the top of the box around the fingertips so that I can actually have some texture as well as a little support for those things so alright so that's it let's uh, we'll move on and I'll come back and show you what I've done Okay, so you see here we've got everything done on the sides. Put some more mache on the sides as well as just on the inside. So if you look at this, I've noticed I haven't done the, the edges here because I want the box to close smoothly. Now you can still see, uh, of course, the inside because of the mache is kind of clear uh, once you put glue on it. But what we're going to do now is prime it with some black. So we're going to do some black over the whole thing, and then we'll let that dry. So, uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and do that. Let's uh, turn on the boots of speed. Okay, so it is all painted black both inside and out as you can see there's the detail on the top right there all right so again this is an experiment for me and what I'm gonna do is I've got some gray mixed up here and I'm gonna layer some colors on first I'm gonna dry brush a little bit of uh, darker gray we'll see I kind of want it to be coming out from a black kind of void uh, but we'll see we'll, we'll experiment with some different colors and uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and time lapse this so you can check it out as it goes. Okay, so there is the dry brushing. It's kind of ghostly. Trying to make uh, some of the black. Now you can, uh, I was thinking about going back in and adding some black wash details, uh, kind of to highlight some of the textures, make sure it looks like fingers, but I think it looks pretty good. I, as you can see, uh, uncovered the eyes from the paint. And I used a uh, kind of sculpting tool like this. Always works great. But yeah, I think it's turning out pretty good. And there we go. All right. So it's a, it's pretty simple in color. 
I believe. Uh, but I really wanted to just focus on the texture and as if, a, you know, kind of a spirit or a creepy dude's coming out of a out of a wall from some sort of dimension. So uh, instead of having a bunch of colors, I really wanted to keep it kind of subtle. Uh, so, you know, let the eyes be the focal point. So next up, we are going to go ahead and put a coat of polyurethane on this. Uh, that'll give it a kind of a an eerie sheen, you might say. And uh, it also protects it. Keeps the uh, the dry brushing from when you're handling it from being rubbed off uh, So yeah, so and it also usually with this matte paint the actual polyurethane uh, Brings out a lot of colors that are hidden within it if you do a lot of layering and things like that uh, really makes the colors pop so We'll do that. Let's go ahead and put a coat of poly on it. So here it is, the creeper. Use some different angles of it. Uh, I like the way the poly looks on it. Always looks good and matte as well, but I, I'm just too afraid that some of the dry brushing is going to rub off. So I like to poly everything. So this is it. We'll open it up here a little bit. Make sure you let this dry overnight if you poly your stuff. But I think. Overall, he turned out pretty good. There's some details here. All right, that's it. That's the creeper. All right, that's my box. Uh, we'll have more videos up. Check me out on the web. Uh, you can find me on Etsy, actually. I've got a lot of these things up for sale. Uh, my Etsy store, World's Wingcraft. Check it out. See you next time.